Hey guys, what's up? Pulling back to my YouTube channel. I'm Sawyer Shrab Noah, and today's video is another anti-bullying campaign video with my good friend Storm Reed. And you may recognize Storm from uh, Wrinkle in Time, where she plays the lead, or from Euphoria, where she plays Gia, sister of Zendaya, or one of many other things. Watch out! So today I'm here with my friend Storm. Hi guys! And she is a wonderful actor and philanthropist. <laughs> <laughs> so you support a charity, right? Which charity yes. is that? Um, I support multiple charities, but I actually have an initiative called The Amazing, uh, which basically promotes self-love and self-affirmations to just help you love yourself. Um, and it was geared towards young women, but I feel like everybody could use that message and feel like they yeah. deserve to feel amazing. Um, so it's not about being perfect or feeling like you have to conform to what society wants you to be, but just being yourself and being goofy and making mistakes, but also knowing that you can be amazing. Yes, thank you. Yeah. That actually works perfect with Pacer's message of create a world with kindness, because when you have self-love for yourself, and you're happy with yourself, it's a lot easier to be nice and kind to others. Exactly. Um, and when you're kind to others, I feel like you can be kind to yourself. Yeah. And that really touches on the topic of bullying and cyberbullying. Um, because if you have that kindness in your heart, you won't feel like you need to bully somebody. If you don't have anything yeah. nice to say, you just don't say it at all. If you can't say something nice, don't say nothing at all. And if somebody is experiencing bully, bullying, I would just go back to that you are beautiful, you are smart, you are handsome, you are perfect just the way you are, and don't try to make yourself smaller or bigger for anybody else because you mm -hmm. are perfect. <laughs> yes, that is amazing, that's great. Yes. So, if you do you have any bullying experiences that you think you and other people can learn from? Uh, yes, I've dealt with a few mean people. Um, I think really on social media. Um, I've had a few personal interactions with not so nice people. Um, but I feel like as I grow and as I continue to succeed, more people are just not going to like my success. Yeah. And I just have learned that not all people are going to like you and I just have to accept that. Mm -hmm. um, but I just kind of brush it off my shoulders because I have to look at what I'm doing and like the people around me like you and yeah. Brighton and your family who love me and support yeah. me. Um, and I have you guys' backs as well. So I just have to look at those moments. And sometimes it can get hard, but I just have mm -hmm. to go back to love myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great. Um, I think you have some really good advice there. Do you, what do you think um, the younger kids should do about being bullied? You're young and you have a lot to learn and you're still learning yourself and you are still trying to learn how to interact with people. So just try to be kind and I know you're not always going to like a person or you're not always going to like what they do, but just try to keep their, those thoughts to yourself and bullying is not okay at all. Um, mm -hmm. And I mean, you could separate yourself before you say something mean. You could yeah. just kind of take yourself out of a situation if you feel like you're about to say something mean or be mean to a person. That's completely true and I totally agree with that. That's great. So do you have any advice for like people getting bullied like specifically online? Mm -hmm. I feel like if you're dealing with bullying or cyberbullying, um, of course, tell a person that you're close to, tell a support system, your friends, your family, a teacher, um, just somebody that you feel like supports you and connects with you um, and will be there for you. And just try, I know it's hard, I know it's so hard to just try to brush it off your shoulders and try to be strong, but you can do that. And, and just go back to knowing that you are worthy of being on this earth, that you are loved, and there's people that you don't even know and that you may not never meet, but we love you and we're here to support you. Yeah, I totally agree with that. And that's great advice. And you guys should really take that to heart. Thank you. So it's coming from a very smart person. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I'm Brighton. I'm Storm's friend and Sawyer's older sister. Ta-da. I have a really quick question for you both. What do you think is the best thing to do if maybe you're not being bullied, but a friend of yours is being bullied, or if you see bullying, what's the best thing to do if you witness someone else being bullied? 
Uh, yes, that is a really good question. And I would say always stand up for that person. Um, and when I mean stand up, you don't even have to know that person, but you can confront that person and say, no, that is not right. You shouldn't be treating my friend like this, or you shouldn't be treating that person like that. And you don't have to go over there and say mean things or try to stoop below the belt because then that is in return you being a bully. Uh, just say, no, that's not right. You shouldn't do this. This is how you can deal with this situation in the future. And always tell a parent, a friend, or a teacher. Yeah. <laughs> Retweet. <laughs> so can you tell me a little bit more about Be Amazing? Yes, so Be Amazing, like I said, is just an organization or slash initiative that just really tries to build up one's confidence through affirmations and through self-love. Um, and just really, again, just building one's self-esteem and just saying you don't have to be perfect and you, feel, you shouldn't feel like you have to be perfect or you should be perfect, but just know that you are good enough to be confident you are beautiful enough you are smart enough because society throws all these things at you where whether it's beauty standards or you might not be a certain religion or a certain race uh, and that makes you feel like you're small but you shouldn't feel small you should know that you're amazing and what makes you you your faults your mistakes makes you the person you are and you are amazing <laughs> That's great. So what can you do on just any old average day, whether it's a school day or just a normal day? What's something positive you can do? Yes, um, so I ask the universe and ask God every day to try to help me be a blessing in somebody else's life. So whether that's doing a good deed or telling somebody that they look nice, mm -hmm. they that you like their shoes, their shirt, um, and it's not about about being disingenuous or being unauthentic because I can sometimes feel like people know how that feels and know that they're just getting a compliment because you're trying to, I guess, make them feel better. But if you actually feel it from your heart, um, and, and simply just doing a good deed, telling somebody that they look nice, giving someone a compliment uh, could really change a person's day. Yeah, that's right, Storm. Like, I think if you go out looking for positive stuff and then you just tell them that positive stuff, I think it'll seem really genuine and will be genuine. Exactly. You never know the power of a compliment.